And the Lord would say to you today, I have not given you a spirit of fear, but I've given you my spirit. I've not given you a spirit of fear, but I've given you my heart. I've given you my love. I've given you my power. I've given you my grace. I've not given you a spirit of fear. So why do you allow it? Why do you allow it? Why do you allow it? Cast it off. 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 Cast off that spirit of fear. Cast it off. Bind it up. Send it off. Loose yourself, says the Lord. If you've been dealing with fear, I want you to wave at me. The Holy Spirit has made it very clear to me that in this season we're entering into, we cannot afford to give our ear to fear. We cannot allow the spirit of fear to speak to us, to lead us and guide us, because it will never lead us and guide us anywhere good. There's a supernatural wealth transfer coming. But if we're too afraid to follow him, we won't start that business. We won't sow that seed. We won't follow him into the divine connection. So I take authority. If you need this today, lift up your hands. I take authority over the spirit of fear. I speak to it and I bind it in the name of Jesus. And I say to you, spirit of fear, spirit of timidity, fear of giving, fear of trying, fear of loving. I speak to every kind of fear that's plaguing your soul. And I command it to come out now in the name of Jesus. I said, you spirit of fear, loose the people of God now in Jesus' name. I said, you go far from them. We do not have a spirit of fear. We renounce you in the name name of Jesus we decree and declare we have been liberated we have been freed we have been healed in the name of Jesus